So we have two truckloads. So if you guys are looking to give back to Target Hunger, again, they're needing a lot of food. The pantries are bare. So this truck behind us and because of you we're able to be here in houston to give back to the people that are in need and again couldn't have been done without the contribution of everyone that poor pantry yeah we need to fill so, this up we we are in need yeah okay and I, i'm not going to complain i've been blessed mm -hmm. all this food that we have here mm -hmm. we made bags so that for emergencies and stuff right gotcha. and uh but yes baby formula this is what i have um, baby oh, food, man. come here and see. That's what I have. That's okay? all the baby food? Yeah, that's all the baby food I have. But, like I said, from pampers to diapers to wipes, anything goes. Because, you know, uh, we actually have, we are right here on market. And if you were to go to your next light and go all the way to on later to the dead end, mm -hmm. would be Wallace, all that area flooded. Mm. People lost their furniture. Uh, their food got wasted. We had no lights since Saturday. Man. They barely put them on the 29th. Do you hear me? Man. But we were blessed. Now, if you go this way on the speeder side of the freeway and you cross uh, and you hit wayside, if you look to your left, there's a water burger. Behind the water burger, all the area flooded. Man. All the people are. So all those people are hitting us. This. Oh, they're, okay. they're all hitting us. One little bag of food ain't gonna make it. No. It ain't not gonna at all. make it. So, like, we give pantry here food uh, on Wednesdays mm -hmm. and we give what we have. We give two bags per family. Per so, that's what I'm saying. This is my pantry, warm, as you yeah. see. So, yes, God is good <laughs> yeah. and He sends y'all for a reason, and uh -huh. I am very blessed. I always say I'm very blessed. So, we're just not leaving Target Hunger. This is the north side of Houston. Um, they needed a lot of baby food, baby items, so we gave most of that that we had here. We're going to head to NRG Stadium and hopefully they need the rest. We have two truckloads, so if you guys are looking to give back to Target Hunger, again, they're needing a lot of food. The pantries are bare. They really need a lot of baby food, food in general, uh, but we're going to head to NRG. quick break in the vlog um, I was driving at this point as you see I wasn't able to update when we got to NRG we were turned around by the state troopers and also the National Guard uh, they were actually full and they were allowing no more donations so that's why you see the lovely footage getting an NRG and no footage outside of that <laughs> Okay, again, I was driving, so I didn't get to update on the spot. So that's what I'm doing now as I'm editing. As I get to certain points, I'll update you on what was happening at that point. So at this point, we got to BBVA and BBVA were MLS team. They too were no longer accepting donations. So at this point, I contacted a friend of mine, Derek, that lives in Houston. He referred me to Nine Innovations. So that's where we're going to now, Nine Innovations. The waters that we have are going straight to Port Arthur and Beaumont, because they don't have any water right now. That's what you got on the food. You have that, sir? sir? I'll coordinate, yeah. Te can you text that to me? Yeah. You, you go take care of that. I'll coordinate with them. But what we're going to do is we're going to start putting some stuff into that, okay? Uh, no to, no to and you already got that one to go to Hodges, right? Uh, Hodges. The, Hodges the address I show you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Hey, okay. Carl. We, I, I, I'm getting the address now. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Y luego, si termine, if uh, you finish before, call us. If we finish before, we call you. That way, that way we can meet. In case they need the other one, when this one is empty, we can come Ooh. and help too. Ooh. 
Ooh, oh, you have a lot? That will be, oh, here comes like a look. Yeah. Let's go. We got a lot. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Okay. We're coming from that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's on the camera. Oh, yeah. This guy not so long ago. So, we're going to use that yellow truck. The yellow, yellow one's empty, right? It's not empty. Almost. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. About a third. Yeah. Maybe yeah. 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 If we put it together, maybe. Okay. Yeah. We went to NRG, they were completely full. BBVA, Compass Arena Center, they were completely full. We're here at Nine Innovations and they're full, but they needed to fill up some trucks to take things to a different church, to a church with no walls. It's blessed that we were here because we were able to provide that truck to take in places. We thought that we were needing to give, you know, to a specific center, but we're actually gonna go distribute it to the church and to the community. So it, you know, it couldn't work out any better. You know, God places everyone at a certain place at a certain time. And these are the reasons why. You continue to give them strength, you continue to give them joy as they pour out, as they pour out your love, as they pour out your hope, as they pour out their encouragement to the people of Houston, Lord. And I give you praise for all of their lives and celebrate them and everything that they're doing in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, To about three or four rows that are completely underwater and as you see right now this is completely there's no way to get around this we're trying to find a way to i-10 so that we can go to church with no walls and drop off supplies i believe the truck is already on the way there but we just can't get around all this water I see somebody paddling down there i don't know what we're doing we are for West, we were Westheimer. Westheimer? Yeah. See, you gotta have a van to get through that water. Man. It's pretty crazy out here. We asked somebody that live here. What's up? Somebody that's local. Maybe they know a road that's open. So we're gonna attempt to get to Highway 6. I believe we just gotta keep going further down. I think we gotta keep going and hopefully it's clear up. We never made it. Uh, every street we were going to was blocked off. Uh, highways were blocked off. You couldn't get on the tollways. Um, I mean, it just felt like, you know how you play, for my people that play football, you know you got a sweep, but when you're going out and the line is running with you and you're trying to get to the edge and you keep going and only thing you can do is go out of bounds, that's what happened to us. We kept bouncing out, bouncing out, bouncing out, bouncing out, hoping that we could find a road that we can cut through to get to the promised land, but it never happened, unfortunately. It was in the truck we were about to head home, but we never were able to make it. 